Hello everybody, Yelsa from here and welcome back to my channel and to this map tour of Wither Farms or Wider Farms, I don't know how to pronounce it but anywho, this is by Missy B it's 194 megabytes so pretty low on the megabyte uh, and also there are some other models which have uh, helped Missy B on this one Alien Jim and Oxygen David amongst others uh, Is this gonna be a normal map tour? No <laughs> uh, I want to do you know there are several people doing map tours of this one so I want to stretch it a little bit extra so to speak because this map here is more or less an all-inclusive map it says in the mod hub that this is not only seasons ready it's also old production ready production pack ready and position farming ready so yeah more or less everything and it has some really nice and big fields uh, I've started now on New Farmer, as you can see. Um, I have Seasons installed. I have Position Farming installed. I have downloaded the Old Production Pack, the Factory Pack. We're gonna test all that. So yeah, like I said, it's not gonna be a, a normal drive-through of the map. We're gonna test that it's actually working all these additions uh, yeah let's look at the map just for fun here you see the the fields are really big what you start with is the main farm area over here where you have more or less all the animal pens you can think of cows pigs chickens and sheep and you have two fields field 14 and field 12 and also you start with the biogas plant which is really nice field prices on this is really low I would say if you look on this one the big field 17 it's only 288,000 so field prices are very good 358,000 and as you can see on the left side you have the position farming info so here you can see what if the field is good or not when it comes to soil so for instance this one field 8 it's pretty good uh, it's 112 percent expected yield uh, I found one yeah like here for example field 13 your neighbor field if you're thinking about buying this one right click on it it's 89 percent expected yield it's more or less 99 percent silty clay so that's not a good field so you, uh, the position farming if you have that installed um, it's always nice to click around and see which field has the better best soil so that's uh, pretty interesting uh, cell points yeah oh, there is a lot of cell points 19 cell points so I'm not gonna go and test all the cell, cell points I'm gonna test some of them I guess uh, but if you're gonna test all of them it's gonna take at least a whole Christmas uh, <laughs> vacation uh, silo capacity is really good you have 2 million liter of silo capacity which is divided into two silos you have one here on your main farm and you also have uh, like a separate farm down here where you have also a 1 million liter silo and you also have a horse stable or pasture which can hold 16 horses and also another thing which is really interesting is uh, they put a lot of work in this map and I really like it if you go into for example the the cell points and you click R3 on that you can buy all the cell points for nothing they're all free and some of the cell points are really big so you can like 
place your custom cell points or a factory. Uh, that's what I'm gonna test because some of these cell points have a big area. And so I want to test if I can place a factory down there. Uh, custom cell points or yeah. Uh, sleep trigger. As you see on the farm, there are no sleep trigger. But if you go into uh, placeables and farmhouses, you have these two by Missy B. Either a house or doormat, which again is excellent because then you can place it wherever you want. It's not fixed to the map. So yeah, I think that's also really good. Slot count, again really good there's a lot of pluses with this <laughs> map it's only 555 and we can jump in and see what we start with straight away we got a fent 724 we got a i think that's the biggest in-game fent fent 1050 with 570 horsepower 17 you got a rustle mesh harvester you got a front loader a telehandler a big Trailer, 45,000 liter, a header, you got a cultivator, a cedar, a sprayer, lime spreader, mower, a back mower, a tether, wind rower, a baler, a bucket. So you start with a lot of equipment. I haven't tried to start this on farm manager, uh, but I have a guess that the uh, slot count will drop maybe with a couple of hundreds I don't know so what I'm gonna do this is like the basic as I said uh, I have the old production the factory the position farming I also downloaded the what is it called the uh, seasons geo for wither farms that's based on Manchester in the UK this is a fictitious map based in the UK by the way, and as said in the mod hub, there are some placeable areas where you can build your own farm. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stop recording now and I'm gonna set up for some tests and we'll see where we go from there and we start on <laughs> On the roof actually on the animal dealer yep so we are now on the map we are starting all the way up here on the roof on the animal dealer so that's pretty cool and also the shop uh, I'm gonna show you that but the shop also the feature that she's done with the shop is also pretty cool so I'll see you in a minute and let's do some testing. So, first part of the testing will be here at the main farm. Uh, and as you see, we are obviously Canadians, which have moved into the UK landscape. Uh, getting an overview of the farm, it's really nice, uh, big open areas. You got some sheds here, uh, the farm silo, 1 million liter, a workshop trigger inside this shed. You got chickens over here. And this point here, you can buy seeds, fertilizer, and lime actually. I think they are for free. Let's test it afterwards. Uh, you got your pigs here and your cows here out on the pasture you also got two big bunker silos which i also tested of course put some grass in it and blanket it this i would assume is the manure pit yeah we actually already got some manure in the corner here and this will be your slurry pit this is a little bit confusing still but anywho um we can just go in here and have a look 
We have some equipment there, not all. Uh, let me just show you where the rest of the equipment is. Yeah, I had to list myself one of the JCB. It's here at the shop. That's pretty neat. This is the main shop, a class dealership with a big open area. This is also the reset point if you are yeah, having an accident or so. You can drive in here. It's the workshop and inside the shop we have some equipment and most of this equipment is yours. This one, the harvester, you can go in and drive it. It will hopefully fit to the door here. There we go. So most of you, yeah, your equipment is there. I brought out the big fence. This one is not yours. And this class harvester is not yours. But this one is. Uh, this one, I think it's yours, the cultivator. But yeah, also the details on the pictures here. Oh, I like class. And the header is yours. So yeah, that's pretty neat. Um, let's do, let's see, yeah, pigs. Here is your animal dialogue box. Buy your pigs. This is the food tray. I've tested it. Now the straw for bedding, you need to open this door here and you have to back up into this area here. I have a short video showing it. So that's how you get your bedding in. This is the water. Uh, when it comes to manure and slurry, We'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Uh, what could be the... Uh, maybe both the cow and the pig manure drops in here. That would be amazing. Uh, cows. You got a slurry point here. That's why I'm a little bit confused about that slurry tank. But anywho. You buy and sell your animals here, like so. You give them water here. Uh, food is all the way along here. Now also here for straw and bedding, you have to drive inside the straw trigger is on the inside there as you can see now I tried to back it up all the way here but that didn't work so I had to go all the way you can see I had to go all the way out here and then drove in there I have a sh maybe a short video of that also So there we go, that's how you give them bedding or straw. Um, what else? Yeah, as I said, it's a big open area. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it's this mod, but uh, you know, I drove over to one of the tankers there and it says refill tanker, but as you can see, it says refill water trailer wherever I drive so I can fill up my water tanker here as I drive so I guess the whole <laughs> area is a water trigger maybe we are living on top of a lake but that's pretty neat uh, another thing which I haven't tested is that I think it says in the mod hub that you can remove the hedges 
so I bought myself a chainsaw uh, because if you look on here that's your main field field number 12 and to get out there you need to go out here and in here I guess but as you can also see in the hedges there are these poles with the white marking on the top I've seen these kind of hedges before and it says that you can remove the hedges as long as you own the field so let's test it out let's see if we can find a pole here there we go oh I got the trigger so let's crawl down maybe here whoa ah okay let's take this one so now you can drive through here. Can I get rid of the whole pole? No. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I've obviously cut it in pieces. So you just need a stump grinder. Oh, can I take that one also? Ah, okay. Yeah, so there you go. You can make your own ways into your field which I think is amazing uh, it, yeah and also of course over straight over the road here you also have a big open area you got some sheds here and a really nice flat area for placing whatever you want actually and here you also have your sheeps so let's just run over there I assume that this is the wool trigger point because I couldn't do anything in that here you buy and sell your sheeps like so let's get one of these uh, this is where you give them uh, hay or grass, food, general. Oh, there are lights, which is also here. Nice. And this is the water. So that's it for the sheep, I think. But as I said, the farm area is big. And let's let me see yeah this is your small field for field 14 and how do you get in there not here through there welcome to Vidar farms Okay, so here to get in here, you might have to cut down a part of the hedge to even get in. Seems like, yeah. So that's the main farm. Um, this one, as I said, it might be a slurry point. That seems to be a slurry pump. Uh, there are two, so maybe one is for the cows and one is for the pigs. But you also got a slurry point here. I don't know, know if that has to do with maybe a PC mod, this uh, manure system, or I don't know. And as you can see, I already got some manure in here. So that's the main farm and now let's test uh, let's see yeah place down some buy and sell points here just to <laughs> test it out uh, I think I'm gonna go over to one of the sell points and let's try to place a factory maybe yeah let's do that so here we go I have pl placed down some uh, factories now I think you have to bear in mind that since a uh, factory is counting as an animal pen uh, you're only allowed to have 10 
in total on each map. It's recommended to have 8, but you can have 10. So where are we now? This is the main farm area. So I have bought this piece of land now, just beside the shop. It was only 16,000 to buy. It was a big flat open area. There are two of these. There's also one down by the biogas plant, which only is 13,000. There is a little drawback with this point. Uh, I can show you over here. It's this area here. So you will need to clear out all these trees. But yeah. So what have I done? I've taken the opportunity to place down two factories. Uh, I haven't tested these new ones. This is a cheese factory where you deliver your milk and you get cheese. And this is a board factory. I used that on La Coronella 2.0 and that actually made a whole lot of money. Uh, so here you deliver your wood chips and you will get uh, boards, pallets with boards and this one is one of the new ones uh, part of the old factory pack so I cho chosen the one that takes hay so I filled my trailer up with a little bit hay but it doesn't come any up on anything up so you will need to go on the back side here there's a trigger here it says open animal dialogue so if you press L3 and then X to move confirm now maybe I think you have started the factory no still no okay can I unload here? Uh, let's try that. No. So yeah, apologies for that. Uh, as I said, I haven't tested it. I know Mr. CDP did a mod review on it and it didn't work properly, but he, actually, he did get something in it. Should I move that back? Confirm. Is this something I have to turn on? So what I think is going to happen is that you deliver your hay there and then pallets with hay bags will appear here. But I don't get any trigger up. So yeah, so you need to <laughs> you need to tell me how to do this in the comment section. Uh, I'll fill the trailer up with wood chips and we'll test the other factories. So I filled my trailer up with some wood chips. We are at the Porochone de Tableros. So you need to go back here into this trigger L3 open animal dialogue I, I've already done it when you are here you have to press X to move over to that I can do like so maybe so to move you have to move it over like this and confirm it and then go back to your tractor and then you should be able to start overloading there we go That didn't take much. What? That's all? What does it say here now? Uh, I had 8,000 liter in that one. Let's go into then you need to go into animal pens or yeah animal and you hear, you hear you can see board production wood chips a thousand liter so that's 
maximum that you can deliver. Okay, that's uh, maybe that has something to do with seasons, because I remember I delivered like ten thousands of liters on La Coronella, and you get your pallets with the finished boards, wooden boards inside this trigger. liter okay good to know but as I said it could have something with seasons to do since I have everything <laughs> installed now on this map now let's try this one the cheese factory which will require milk and we'll take this one from the start off so let's take this from the start off uh, also here as I own this land as long as I drive here you see I can refill water trailer but then it start directly to fill it with water so you need to go if you have a <coughs> edge grain like this you need to back up or find the sweet spot until it says start filling then you can choose so let's fill this up a little bit with milk I think that should be it and then this is learning by doing I think the factories weren't exactly like this at La Coronella as far as I can recall but anyway uh, yeah so now let's try I didn't get any trigger up now so let's go over here open animal dialogue and then press X to move confirm BAM now we should get the trigger for milk there we go so let's start overload the milk let's see how much okay that's it let's check the animal pens mm, cheese production a thousand liter also there so that's the maximum Hmm, okay, so a thousand liter of wood chips and milk in these big factories. So I couldn't make that to work. Let's just test it one more time. Open animal, move, confirm. Now we should suck in this hay, but nothing happens. So either I'm doing a completely wrong here, or this is still not working completely. Um, yeah, mods. Uh, there are some mods uh, installed, uh, Missy B mods, of course. We have these ones, the fuel and add blue storage. We got the grain quid storage, that the multi fruit and liquid storage. Only 19,000 for 250,000 liter, and you got these extensions, and yeah, a lot of Missy B storage, uh, yeah, and also the farmhouse, of course, and the doormat, sleep doormat. I don't think there were any other mods. No. Uh, and now let's test the maximum capacity of factories so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna buy this field BAM so now we have one two three four and five animal pens with the horses six seven eight so now we should only be able to place out two more factories that will make it ten so let's test that out place this one here so now we have nine ten and now we get the notification there are too many animal pens please sell some first so yeah there we go A maximum of ten animal pens or slash factories so now we have tested that and maybe we should just go ahead and test one of the main cell points and 
also the topography of this map is really nice it's flat all over the place more or less uh, I have taken the traffic off uh, you know just to make it a little bit easier to test this all this equipment uh, the traffic on this map is a little bit crazy uh, I thought it was crazy on six ashes but here they are a slightly ruder and <laughs> yeah crazy traffic here but anyway so now I'm at the biogas plant because the biogas plant is taking a whole lot of things not only you know manure and slurry if you go in here you can see let's see all the way here it's taking potatoes and sugar beets sugar cane also wood chips and all your grass products silage grass and hay and manure and slurry so yeah let's try to sell some wood chips hopefully this is the right place yeah there we go uh, this is 45,000 liters so usually these kind of places are taking 50,000 liter before they are full I don't know the capacity of this one but at least 45,000 liter is no problem and this place also is really nice you have some huge bunker silos over here which you can use because you own it and your byproduct spot or your digestate you can pick up here and as on all other I guess biogas plants you see that I didn't get paid but you will get paid at midnight so there we go and let's see on the map uh, doo -doo -doo. we could have a whist around in here where we have a lot of cell points and also the other farm area and then also afterwards we need to test the precision farming so I think I'm gonna do some soil sampling on my field here so yeah I'll see you down here I guess so now we are all the way down in the southwest corner let's look on the map we are down here we have a lot of cell points uh, you have the spinnery which is pretty cool where you can sell your wool or cotton and here is the farm shop now the entrance is a bit tight but anyway this is one of the main cell points and I am assuming that this is a lime buy point here we have the barn shop where you can sell your bales and this is one I guess this is named by one of the mothers that helped Mr. CB Alien Jim this is called the alien alien grain uh, when it comes to you know usually some or all of the maps they have good prices for some type of crops and liquids I haven't looked down all the 19 cell points and all the products but I've noticed a couple of them that you can make good money on and that is uh, let's see yeah first of all wood chips wood chips at biogas plant really high price so there you can make a lot of money and as long as you're on the biogas plant you I hope you get digestate from that because you can sell digestate at the farm shop for 2212 and that's over here at the farm shop if you can get in let's see if we can get in with this big bad boy here I don't think so 
guess I'm gonna get stuck, but anywho. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so you can get a 45,000 liter in here. So let's see if this is the lime by point. Start filling. Seeds. Hay. Silage. Lime. Fertilizer. Pig food. Straw. What? Uh, so let's try, let's see, something I can sell at Alien Gym. Uh, oof, I don't know. Let's take silage, maybe. So let's take 5,000 liter. Hmm, interesting. Whoa, yeah. So a 45,000 liter, it's just on the edge, but anywho. So can I sell silage to Alien Gym? No. Anyway, so let's move over to the other farm area w which you own. And this place here also, uh, this is the slurry yard. Where you can, you cannot sell your slurry here actually. If you go all the way down here, slurry yard, you can sell your digestate. But you want to sell that at the farm shop, of course. Um, and you cannot sell your manure. So yeah, the slurry yard is only digestate. Anywho, Titch's farm. Oh, I went a little bit too far now, I guess. We need to go in there. Hopefully you have heard me the whole time because yeah, my headset is still broken, so anyway, maybe we can get it. This is the other silo that we have. Oh, I can put it there. Do I have any hay here so I can give to my horses? 20 liter. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's another thing. Uh, you don't start with a lot of crops inside your tanks you know it's like 40 liters 40 liters and 20 liters so you don't gonna make any money of what you start with but anywho here also here's the other fan tractor and here is the horse stable buy and sell here let's get one of each so this is you can have 16 horses here. I haven't tested this one. I'm not that into horses. But anyway. If we get the horse helper mod. I might consider it. My daughter. She loves it of course. It's no problem with feeding them. And all that. But the fact that. To make money on them. You need to ride them. 5 minutes every day know to grow in value and also here in this place it seems to be it has been a house here you know what let's try to place the Missy B house here because I don't have any sleep trigger yet where am I I'm over here you don't own this land what I don't No. So you don't own this land, but you own the silo. So what if I oh, buy this land, 16,000, so not that expensive, and then try to place Missy, Missy B's house. I guess that's the wrong way around. Collides with an object. Okay, oh, there we go. I cannot place it here, but there, bam. So there we go. So I guess can we 
go inside Missy B. Sleep trigger is not there. Maybe it's on the back side. No. Where is the sleep trigger? That's interesting. Can I place a doormat now? Only one item allowed per farm. Okay, so what? How do I get in that house? Uh, it might be uh, one of these fiddling opening doors. You need to find the correct sweet spot. No sleep trigger. Hmm. Okay. So then we tested that also. I cannot get it to work. But anyhow, so I think the next test will be the position farming. You know what? Maybe there's a sleep trigger here at this house. So yeah, that sleep trigger uh, kind of uh, puzzled me out. You know what? I'm going to try to sell it back. Yeah, I have a lot of these. I need some money. So let's sell that. Um, and then buy ourselves a doormat. Missy B doormat. And place outside the house here maybe. Like so. I cannot get it all the way in, but anyway, let's try it there. Oh, my phone is calling. Okay, I'll be back. Oh, here we go. Sorry, work calling. I am actually on vacation today. It's Monday the 14th of December. I have been put on vacation by my boss because I have too many vacation days. So you need to take some vacation before New Year's Eve. And I said, okay, I can take a couple of days. So let's try this one. Yeah. So this one works. And I got the John Deere Gator with the Scout, Isaria Scout on the back. Now let's do some soil sampling oh, and also the RTK station I placed there. That's to I think it's to improve the the workers when you do things like this. Let's unfold this and then open up minimap. There we go. You get a circle around your car. So let's lower it down and take some soil sample here. Let's see in the position tab. So now you see I've taken a soil sample. So I'm gonna whisk around and take some soil samples here and we'll see how my field is looking. taking the soil samples 
Uh, I draw my lime spreader up to my saddle where I can buy lime. I, the silo only holds a thousand liter, so that's good to know. Luckily for this test I have the edge grain over here which I can fill it up with. But yeah, that's something to know that you only have a thousand liter with lime. I don't know if that's showing here. And you see the digestate is going up. I have 24,000 liter now. So yeah, selling digestate at the farm shop. Good, good, good. So let's see, I haven't got, oh, there we go. Soil samples analyzed. So let's drive over to the field. I had to take, I think it was 31. So samples out of this field, so it, now it should detect and zoom in, there we go, so that's working, pH level, there we go, so let's jump in here, and it's all loam, oh that's good, I think, I got loam on my whole field, Ooh. pH, nitrogen needs fertilizer, so yeah, loamy field. So let's unfold this one and let's see how much. Maybe now we can go out here and see pH values are bad. 6.1 compared to 6.7 needed. So let's see on the minimap if it's changing color. There we go working so yeah it's really like an like I said before an all inclusive map you have all these additions <coughs> ready seasons ready position farming ready production factory ready the fields are really big and the topography is flat easy to to make way your farming and hiring workers you can get rid of the hedges which i know some of you don't like and i don't like them too much and yeah it's a really nice map and a whole lot going on and the farm area is also very nice you got big areas for placeables and yeah it is an all-inclusive map. Well done, Missy B, Alien Jim, Oxygen David, Beta, oh, Beta Testers, Tichanku, Tichanku, Ruar, Levasi, and DJ Liam. Very good. Now I think that was. Uh, let's see. Did I want to test anything else? Let's turn up this one and see what we have done. pH value. Oh, the tractor is still going. Whoop. Um, I think that was all of my tests. Uh, if you want a more generic or normal map tour, I suggest you check out Mr. CLP's map tour, which covers a little bit more this were more like a crazy test of all the additions and yeah and you also have a own point for it's a, like a sugar factory where you deliver your sugar beets sugar cane and potatoes and she have also placed some houses on the outside of the map now I'm on the edge so you can see there are some houses or factories there you also got some buildings over here on the outside of the map and there is a factory here so maybe there is coming a wither farm 4x or something I don't know so again thank you for watching this little bit special map tour 
uh, it is really beautiful uh, I would recommend it a lot for people either beginners or you professional guys and it has everything I would say I don't see anything missing here and really cool feature with the shop where <laughs> your vehicles are inside so if you like what you see smash that like button if you're not a subscriber yet to my channel please subscribe if you have any comments please leave a comment you can share this video if you want and yeah again thank you for watching bye bye